The divorce between Ariana Grande. Uh, can you make it a little bigger for us so I can read this? Put us on the other side too. Small. All right. Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez are officially divorced. Okay, scroll down so I can read it. All right. Let's make it a bit one bigger. Okay. Los Angeles Superior Court judgment dissolving their marriage of nearly three years became official Tuesday, six months after the 30-year-old pop star filed a petition to divorce the 28-year-old real estate broker. They separated two years ago. They had a prenuptial agreement, no children, and had no significant legal disputes in the split, allowing it to move quickly and cleanly through the court system. Under the agreement, Grande will make a one-time payment of $1,250,000 to Gomez with no future alimony, give him half the proceeds of the sale of their Los Angeles home, mm. and will pay up to $25,000 towards his attorney's fees. Mm. Oh, and look, at they, they were married in Montecito, which is here in uh, the Santa Barbara County area anyways. So that's pretty much the extent of the article. What do you guys think of that? Do you think that's fair that, you know, they're married for, I believe... Uh, Three years, about, and she she's going to pay him. What was it? One point two two one point two five million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, do you think that's million. you think that's fair? You think it's reasonable, that's or fair. what do you got? What do you? What's your initial take on that? Starting with Brie, then we'll go around the table. Go ahead, Brie Gertrude. Wait, why did she have to pay? Because she had more money. Yeah, so you familiar with Ariana Grande, the internationally yeah, renowned yeah. pop singer? So is that like why they made her pay? Because she made more money. Hello. <laughs> what? What? What would the other reason be for her having to pay? Um, I feel like why didn't he just pay his own attorney fees? She's rich. So? She's rich. So. She's the breadwinner, bro. Who do you think makes more money, Ariana Grande or Dalton Gomez? I feel like that's how, why you, you should not date someone under your, what your, what you value yourself at, stay there. Don't go under. So do you think it's unfair though the that she had to pay him the 1.25 million? I don't think it's unfair because she made that choice, but I feel like she should not have dated someone hmm. like that. Okay, Molly, what about what about you? I mean, well, I was just wondering, like, was there a prenup in place? There, they, was. there was. There okay, was. then realistically, yes, L. I think that it's that was kind, fair. kind of an L for Dalton. He yeah. should have just not had a prenup. Well, I think. I think Prenups are a controversial topic, like, in and of themselves. I personally would not get married without a prenup, um, just because I'll be damned if I'm paying a man $1.25 million of my money, no matter how much I made. Um, it's interesting, like, yeah. women, women who make money, they'll always have a prenup with their girl, with their girl, excuse me, with their uh, husband if he earns less than them. But men don't tend to do this. I mean, some men do get prenups, of course, but mm -hmm. uh, women tend to be a little more uh, cutthroat, I guess you could say, I when it comes to their finances. I mm -hmm. could agree with that. I think that that has to, I mean, my personal opinion, I feel like that would tie a lot into the fact that like 100 years ago, 200 years ago, women uh, were not in control of their finances as much as they are in today's world. And so I think women have been told by their parents, grandparents, you know, mothers, grandmothers that... Um, being in control Wait, of your really finances. really quick, did we read this one already? Did we? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did it come through? I just, mm -hmm. I didn't hide it, so I just wanted to make sure. Okay, sorry, continue. Right. Um, that being in control of your finances is probably one of the most important important things and uh, in a marriage. So yeah. would you uh, ask your fiancé to sign a prenup if he made less money than you? You would um, do that? Even if he made more money than me, I still think that that is the smart thing to do, especially if you both own assets or, like, you know, you have large amounts of money before coming into the marriage. What about you? That kind of goes against the whole idea of marriage because the whole thing about marriage is becoming one and basically merging your whole lives together. And so you just make sure to one. date a guy that... So that's why I don't really even believe in traditional marriages and how it is like man, wife, one, baby, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Like, it's just not even... I don't know, especially now, it doesn't work. Now that women can make their own money... So if, you're, if your financial husband was a billionaire, would you sign his prenup? Yes. You would? 
I would not get married actually in a traditional marriage, but hypothetically, yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um. So okay, the guy she's divorcing is not the gentleman with the red hair that had the they both had the affair area on in that. No, I don't know who that guy is. Oh, oh okay, okay. Like oh, well, so there was like an yeah. affair that happened, and it was public. And if the guy was a real estate agent, what if like there was some sort of like emotional like oh my gosh and then all of his friends are asking and maybe he lost out on like a sale that maybe he could have been working on due to like oh my gosh like i was trying to close the big it house it sounds to me like well with a prenup it's not just like a lot of people think about it in terms of uh -huh. it means i get nothing what yeah. it actually is just predetermining uh -huh. that amount uh -huh. if the event happens yeah. that you get divorced it's, so yeah apparently they probably just uh decided 1.25 billion plus half of the house was yeah. what was fair if they get divorced yeah. under a certain number of years or whatever mm -hmm. yeah. that's what's what the I was, point of getting I mean, married then just, I, just don't get married just stay why do you have to get married and go through all that every guy in the chat is loving what you just said well like, honestly i think that what you're saying is a very it's ideal yes um you want to find a partner that you can trust and be with for the rest of your life but unfortunately that's not the reality of the world that we live in today. Why do we have to sign a contract? Well, that? guys get screwed most of the time in a divorce. So that's, I mean, that's so, what a prenup usually is executed for. So just mm -hmm. don't get like traditional marriage, like contract signing like yeah, that. Yeah, but like, a lot, I mean, a lot of guys are dating somebody who like, they're romantic, they want the wedding, they want the security. You I mean, you've seen like- You uh, signing the paper. What, yeah. about yeah. Common, what about common law though? Like after 10 years? Yeah. It, Some states have that. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, yeah. might as well after 10 years. I also it, look, personally, I don't see much of an issue with like, going through the route of giving some security to a woman who is dedicating yeah. her life to being your partner and then yeah. builds no skills for herself after some number mm -hmm. of years. Yeah, So exactly. I get the logic behind yeah. it. Yeah, well, then mm -hmm. if you're gonna do that, then the whole prenup thing is like, what is the point of that? Because you are saying you're devoting so much into this person you're becoming one and I would never get married without a prenup because I it, when, once you have like you you it. have some level marriage, of money now right like so wouldn't you be worried that some not. people are dating you for the wrong reason or maybe like because you have uh, cash or whatever do I get worried about do that? you think that no I mean most guys shouldn't like care about your financial status but I'm sure that you're it gonna get some, some guys really filling out Google forms that, that want that more. it actually causes a lot of problems that you have money. Yes. So you, I mean, wouldn't you ideally want somebody, if you were gonna enter into a marriage to sign a prenup so he doesn't take your cash when you get divorced? Well, I wouldn't get a traditional marriage. Hypothetically, I would always sign a prenup. Right, but okay. I'm just saying prenups kind of go against. Yeah, like, would any of the, the girls marriage. care if a guy asked them to sign a prenup? I'd sign a prenup. I would. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd sign Everybody I would, would sign, sign a prenup? Yeah, 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 I, them, yeah would it, I would care. You would care? Yeah. Because it implies well, I, that he doesn't trust that it's gonna last? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Do you understand why he would want you to sign one, though? 100%. But with my relationship and the partner that I have, I do believe in traditional marriage. And you could still have a traditional marriage, right? It just kind of uh, secures that. Yeah. And I would trust my partner enough enough that we would be able to become a union in a marriage and have the same That's account. what I'm saying. That's the point of marriage. Yeah. So I mean, it's a very romantic way to look at things, but it's like, you know, half of all marriages end and 70 to 80 percent of them are initiated by the wife. So guys, you know, they need to be smart and look out for themselves. At least, mm -hmm. I'm not saying to completely screw over their wife and not give them anything with a prenup, but like if you're marrying a guy that already has some financial means, it makes sense for him to at least draw a line in the sand and say, I have earned this much up to this point. Maybe what we earn together while we're uh, a couple mm -hmm. makes some sense to split at mm -hmm. some level. And that's what right. a prenup does. It just, all it does is kind of like dictates yeah. that ahead of time. So once things get toxic and you guys hate each other, I'm not saying that's gonna happen to you. Yeah, United. no, no, I agree. I if I wasn't like if me and my partner weren't religious and didn't believe in traditional like marriages, then I would absolutely get a prenup. You both like uh, conservative, like uh, religious, mm -hmm. want the long term, like real marriage type of thing. Yeah, like, exactly. Okay, yeah. yeah.